Hello, welcome to the astroproductreviews.com unboxing video for the iOptron CEM120 mount. As you can see, there are two boxes, the actual mount itself in the larger box, the counterweights and some of the other accessories in the smaller box. I took some detailed pictures of how these arrived, a little bit banged up, but since they came on a shipping container from China, that's no surprise. Overall, they're in really good shape, uh, all things considered. So from this point of view, I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing and we'll discover together exactly how this mount ships and what the packaging looks like. And we will go from there. All right, the first thing you want to do is gently cut into the box. I've got my finger holding it so I don't go too deep. We'll cut across all the tape edges. Go ahead and open it up. Okay, as you open up the box, the very first thing you're going to notice or encounter is a stop warning. It's a very clear sheet. Obviously, it's the very first thing you see. And what it is is a set of instructions for the CEM120 and the way you would set the gear switch and axle locking knobs so that you don't void your warranty. And they make that very clear. You have to have these knobs and switch in the correct location for three different parts of the operation. One when you're transporting it and attaching it to your pier or your tripod or your tri-pier. One for when you're balancing the mount. And then one set of steps or instructions for when you're actually operating the mount. So pay attention to that. It's a very important step. You don't want to overlook that. We'll stick it off to the side. The other thing that you're going to find is a set of ball head hex wrenches which basically will just help you with different operations of the mount and they include that as a nice set for you. Okay, and the next thing are the bolts. And they've got knurled knobs on the top of them here. It's hard to see in the packaging, but I have a picture of this that I'll show with them out of the package. But these are what hold the mount head itself to the adapter plate for your pier or your tripod or your tri-pier. Set those off to the side. We're going to go ahead and take off the foam here for the first time. A little tight fit in the box. And here we go. First view of the mount. You can tell the box has got a little bit of dinged up damage here. Um, nothing that transferred into the mount itself. There's enough spacing in the packaging to protect it. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about are all the different pieces of packaging and items within. Here's the hand controller. So it's in that slot. And I'm just going to stick everything off to the side here. The next thing is the AC adapter box. So pretty clear packaging on everything. This is the AC power cord itself. And then this bag contains a set of cables for the hand controller, the antenna, a few other things. And I've got a picture that I'll show of all the different various parts within that bag. And we'll outline that for you. But obviously it's a very nice mount. Uh, before I take it out and actually set it up, I want to make sure I don't drop it or do anything incorrectly before I do that. And that'll be a, a separate step. And then I'll show it sitting out on the floor once it's actually set up and operating. And we'll go from there. The next box we have will be the counterweight box and the counterweight shaft. So again, as we did on the last one, we'll go ahead and be very careful when we open up the box. Heaven knows I've cut myself enough time with X-Acto knives. I'm allergic to them. Set it off to the side and we'll go ahead and open up the box. So on the right side is the counterweight shaft box. It's pretty hefty. And underneath the foam packaging here are going to be the counterweights themselves. So take these two foam protection pieces off and there are the two counterweights. I've seen questions around whether or not it comes with one or comes with two. Uh, this, it comes with two uh, and that's pretty clear obviously from the picture here. But Next thing we'll do is go ahead and cut open the counterweight bar.
And you can see it's got its own individual foam packaging to hold it in position. There's a couple of pieces of wood actually on each end of the box. I don't really focus on that or show that, but what it does is to protect it. I guess if you were to drop it in pack, you know, in shipping in the packaging, it's not going to break through the cardboard. Um, but removing the foam pieces here, that's the threaded end. That piece slides off, and then this piece comes off the other end, and it's got the foot saver. And you can see as I'm holding it, that's a pretty beefy piece of steel right there. So that's what's in the second box, and that is the unboxing video for the Ioptron CEM120. Good evening. Thank you for watching the unboxing video of the Ioptron CEM120. Very excited to have this mount. Um, been waiting for it for a while and appreciate you taking the time to watch the video that I produced tonight. Make sure you click subscribe and like and throw in some comments. The next step for me with this mount is I need to make an adapter plate for a tripe here that I designed and fabricated and I did a little uh, stress test on it today. I s sat on it at 200 pounds just to make sure this was going to be no problem for it. And it's not going to be, no issue there. But to really understand, for me, the next step on this mount is connecting up my OTA, my cameras, guide scopes, and then integrating it into the computer and making sure that when I take this thing out for the first time, and we're in the dead of winter here in Northwest Ohio, uh, we've got three snowstorms hitting us in the next seven days. So I'm going to use that time to really understand, and I'll do some how-to videos of getting the most out of this mount. Like I said, integrating it and knowing that when I take this thing outside, I'm going to be getting the best possible use of my time. And that really when I go out and hook it up, I'll be collecting data within a matter of minutes of setting it up as opposed to having to sit there and fight my mount. So that's really my next step. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And as we learn together on how to use this mount and take full advantage of it, I'll be posting more videos at astroproductreviews.com. So thanks for stopping by.